Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with structural analysis in the topic of Human Data Method. So now the problem is determine the fixed end moment at each end of the member in the continuous beam. Okay, so they are giving the continuous beam. So in the continuous beam uh, having the A and B, C, D. So the three members are there. So having uh, 40 kN point load, then 30 kN, 25 kN, then 35 kN point loads, then having the UDL of 20 kN meter with the distance of 5 meter. So then having the moment of 50 kN per meter. Okay, so now we have to find out the fixed end moments. So only fixed end moments. So we don't want to uh, calculate the shear force and bending moment also. So now, now we can take the uh, first member. So that is A and B. So the A and B 5 meter length having the two point loads the quickly supported so 40 kN here is 30 kN okay so the having the distance of here is 1 meter here is total is 2.5 so here is 1.5 meter so then here is 2.5 meter okay so this is a and here is b okay so now we can find out the fixed end moment so now m f a b m f a b equal to so minus we can take w1 into l by 8 okay so here the uh, load is acting on the center so now we can take w1 into l by 8 so plus so here it's acting on the some uh, distance in the from the a and the, some distance from the b so now we can take w2 a b square divided by l square okay so we know the formula over here so now we can uh, substitute the value so now minus w uh, w1 value is 40 into l is 5 divided by 8 okay so now w2 value is 30 into a distance is 4 okay the here is uh, from the a the 4 meter away from the support okay so 4 meter so then b is 1 meter 1 square divided by l square so l is total is 5 square so solving this we got the value of minus 29.8 kilo newton meter okay so next thing is m f b a so likewise also we can take the positive value so then w1 l divided by a plus here we can take w2 a square b divided by l square okay so now we can substitute plus w is 40 into 5 divided by 8 again plus w value is 30 into a square that is 4 square into 1 divided by 5 square okay so solving this we got the value of 44.2 kilo newton meter so next thing is likewise we can take the bc value so, so bc member so now we can take the bc bc is simply supported having the udl of the entire length so 5 meter length and having the one point load of 25 kilo newton so that is 2 meter away from the b and 3 meter away from the c okay so now b c okay so now uh, likewise we can calculate the m f b c so m of b c we can take the minus so for the first thing is for the udl that is w l square by 8 okay simply supported beam having the udl so sorry divided by 12 So uh, simply supported beam having the UDL, uh, we, we know the W L square by 12 again plus W A B square divided by L square. Okay. 
so the point low not acting on the center so now we can use the formula w a b square by l square okay so now we can substitute minus w value is uh, 20 kilometer per meter so now we can take 20 into l square that is 5 square divided by 12 again plus w value is 25 into a value is 2 into 3 square divided by l square that is 5 square okay so solving this we got the value of minus 59.67 kilo newton meter okay so next thing is m f c b so now we can take the positive value w l square by 12 again plus w a square b divided by l square okay so now we can take plus w value is again 20 into 5 square divided by 12 again plus w l is 25 into 2 square into 3 square divided by l square that is 5 square so solving this we got the value of m of c b equal to 53.67 kilo newton meter okay so like, next thing is we have to calculate the uh, c d now the c d member So now here is 35 kilo newton point low then 50 kilo newton per meter is the moment. So now here is 1 meter then here is 2 meter so here is 1 meter ok so now we can solve here C here is B. So we can take M, F, C, D value. So M of C, D equal to moment into B divided by L square into 3A minus L minus the fear the point load. So having the, so it's not acting at the center. So now we can take W, A, B square divided by L square okay so here total value is 4 meter okay so now we can take the 50 into 3 meter divided by L square value is 4 square into 3 into 1 meter minus L value is 4 minus W value is 35 into A square so that A is 3 meter and B is 1 meter 1 square divided by L square that is 4 square so now solving this we got the value of m of c d equal to minus 15.93 kilo newton meter okay so likewise we can calculate the m of c d m f c d value so now we can take m into a divided by l square into 3 b minus l plus w a square b divided by L square okay so now we can take the 50 into a value is 1 divided by 4 square into 3 into b value is 3 meter minus 4 plus w value is 35 into 3 square into 1 divided by L square that is 4 square okay so solving this we got the value of m of c d equal to 35.3125 kilo newton meter okay so these are all the n moments so this is a method we can solve the uh, problem again we will see next video thank you